Welcome back to Jan's Canning Kitchen. Today I have a treat for you. I'm doing mock apple pie filling. I've never even tried this before, but it looks so interesting. I just had to do it. And it's made with zucchini. First of all, I got some huge zucchinis and I peel them, cut them in half and clean them all out. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slice them in my Bosch slicer. the best slicer I've ever, ever had. I love it. Well, I'm back and I've got all my zucchini completely um, sliced. There's 16 cups of zucchini. Now I'm going to add four cups of brown sugar, two thirds of a cup of whatever fruit juice you have on hand. I happen to have some apple juice. So I'm using some apple juice and also some cinnamon, about four teaspoons of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of nutmeg, and a dash of ground cloves, and three to four teaspoons of cream of tartar. So I'm just gonna add that to this. And lemon juice, this is eight teaspoons of lemon juice, and 12 tablespoons a flour. I'm going to mix this all together. A little bit hard to mix, but I'm we'll get it. I've never done this recipe, so this is kind of new to me as well. I'm pretty excited to see what it's actually going to taste like. All the reviews that I've read, people that have tried it, they said they liked it. So we will see. This is gonna cook, they say to cook it down for about 10 minutes. So I'll be back once it's all cooked down and I'll fill my jars and get my water bath canner all ready to go. See you in approximately 10 or 15 minutes. Welcome back. Um, this is the zucchini once it's all been cooked down. If you wanna look into this pot, you can see how it looks absolutely beautiful actually. So now I'm going to put it into my jars which all have been sterilized with soap, water, and they're all ready to go. So here we go, and I'm just gonna put it into my jars. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna get. I'm thinking three, but we will find out. It's actually still boiling as I'm putting it in. I think I'm just gonna turn it off here. It looks amazing, so I hope, it's as, I hope it tastes as amazing as it looks. have my lids soaking in the back and some nice hot water all ready to go. That's two jars. Let's see, maybe we'll get a th third jar here. This is really hot. I think I'm going to get three jars out of this one recipe. Looks like it burns pretty easy if you don't keep an eye on it. It will crystal get, start getting a little crusty, crusty on the bottom, but we just will not use that. There we go. We got three jars out of this recipe. So now what I'm going to do, really important step again, is make sure that we make sure that there's no residue left on top of these jars because we want them to seal really well. So here we go, and I've got my little magnet. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put my lids, my rings on. Here we go, a one one. Have my sealer rings, and I'm just gonna do them just a little bit tighter than finger tight, not much more. Didn't really say in the recipe, but that's kind of what I usually do. Now I'm going to take them over here. I have my water bath. I did use my big water bath because I don't need to because I didn't think I was going to get more than three or four jars. And I was right, only three. So now we're going to get this to come to a boil and then we will start the timer and we'll water bath it for 10 minutes. And then we'll be right back and show you the finished product. Welcome back. Um, it has been 10 minutes. The 
the zucchini mock apple pie filling is now fully done and it's been at a rolling boil for 10 minutes so this absolutely looks amazing look at that beautiful three beautiful jars of mock apple pie filling made with zucchini can't wait to try it Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. See you later.